Salam Dostar, hope you are doing well. So in today's video, I want to talk about the international banks that work in Kazakhstan. Uh, we can we can divide the banks in Kazakhstan into three categories: uh, the local Kazakh banks, uh, the Russian banks, and the foreign banks. Uh, most of the Russian banks, Russian international banks, are rebranded to a Kazakh name so that Kazakh people can accept the bank more more easily. For example, it will be difficult for Kazakh citizens to open a bank called Bank of India. So they usually change their names or rebrand themselves so that it's much more easier for Kazakh citizens to accept. But there are a lot of banks, they don't change the name. For example, Sperbank. Sperbank is from Russia and they work in the name as a um, subsidiary of Sperbank of Russia in Kazakhstan. So they don't change the name, they just uh, add the word subsidiary in front of it and work in Kazakhstan. So uh, talking about foreign banks in Kazakhstan, the popular foreign banks in Kazakhstan are Citibank Kazakhstan, it's from USA, then we have Bank of China, and then we have Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, then the most popular one among Indians are Tengri Bank. It was called Punjab National Bank. Uh, it was renamed and rebranded into Tengri, so it's more acceptable for the people in Kazakhstan. Then we have Zirat uh, International Bank. It's a Turkish bank. Then we have Shinhan Bank. It's from South Korea. Then we have an Islamic bank, which is called Al Hilal Islamic Bank, which is from the United Arab Emirates. And the last one is the Pan uh, National Bank of uh, Pakistan. So even though I told you about all these banks, there are main three international banks that are very popular. Um, let's say the least popular one is the Bank of China. It's commonly used by Chinese people or Chinese businessmen or Chinese workers who are working in the petroleum or oil and gas industry. Um, the Ch Bank of China has its own website which is available in Chinese, Russian, Kazakh and English. The second one is uh, Citibank. Uh, Citibank, uh, it's an interesting bank because mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, cater to normal customers. It's especially for commercial and investment opportunities. If you go to the Citibank website, you, you can just see it shows, it's, it says that it works in Kazakhstan for 25 years. There's no login. There's no special login for Kazakhstan citizens. And uh, the only information it gives is uh, as I said before, 25 years in Kazakhstan and it helped bring foreign investment to Kazakhstan to an amount of 30 million US dollars. So as I said before, it's especially for investors from other countries coming to Kazakhstan and also for uh, business opportunities. The most popular one is Tengri Bank. It's actually controlled by Punjab National Bank. Of, it, it has around 41.64 percentage of Ching Tengri Bank is controlled by Punjab National Bank. Three years ago, when I left Almaty, there was no Tengri Bank. It was Punjab National Bank. Um, it was a very popular bank because that's the only Indian bank that Indians know about. Um, they they allow to open fixed deposits in India and also you can buy rupees uh, currency from this bank. The only two places that you can buy Indian rupees within Kazakhstan was either from Punjab National Bank or from the airport. And as you know, in the airport, they charge a lot. Um, Tengri Bank is not a big bank. Uh, I think they changed the name from Punjab National Bank to Tengri Bank to attract more Kazakh, um, Kazakh uh, citizens. Uh, the total bank asset is 132.8 billion chinge, which is small when you compare to the biggest national bank of Kazakhstan, which is called the Halik Bank, which controls around, which has an assets about about around 8,279 billion chinge. Uh, an interesting uh, fact about Tengri Bank is it's a publicly traded company in Kazakhstan. Uh, the public exchange in Kazakhstan is called Case. KASE Kazakhstan Stock Exchange and as I said before from the deep from documents you can see that 41.64 percentage of Tengri Bank is controlled by Punjab National Bank and the total value of the bank uh, at the moment is around 111.3 million dollars. I know I talk, talked a lot about Tengri Bank uh, but I don't have any bank accounts there. The two, two main reasons were, are 
when I when I left Almaty, I didn't have uh, there was no Tengri Bank. It was Punjab National Bank, and now I live in Aktobe. Uh, Tengri Bank doesn't have a branch in Aktobe. It's popular. I think it has branches around nine cities in Kazakhstan, uh, and usually in popular cities like uh, Almaty, Astana, Pavlodar, Pavlodar, and different cities. Uh, but still they are aggressively promoting the company uh, you can see advertisements of this bank Tengri bank in the Almaty airports to quickly wrap up the video in this slide you can see the foreign banks in Kazakhstan one of the bank I didn't uh, point out was Alton bank uh, Alton bank is also a comparatively new bank which was opened probably three or four years ago uh, before when I was working in Almaty there, there was HSBC in Almaty which was working for a very long time they even had a big building name after the bank called HSBC bank building but a uh, few few years later the HSD, HSBC bank was closed and the building was taken over by the Alton bank uh, all the remaining banks I have explained uh, before and you can see based on the total Chinge in billions bank assets Pakistan National Bank of Pakistan is very less almost 5 billion uh, Chinge to have a quick look on the Russian banks in Kazakhstan, the most popular one is Sperbank and the least one is uh, VTB Bank from Russia. And uh, one more good news is in 2020, Kazakhstan will allow foreign banks to open their branches uh, in Kazakhstan with their uh, original name without adding the tag subsidiary. So hopefully this is a good news and we hopefully we can see more recognizable foreign banks in Kazakhstan soon. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe and uh, click like so I, I know that you enjoy this type of contents. Uh, see you soon in the next video. Bye.